everybody, Cindy Art here with My Artsy Endeavors. You're probably thinking, what is that mess? This is a video I've been wanting to do for a while now and I just haven't done it. And right now I have a few minutes so I am going to do it. I wanted to show you guys, um, I got this crazy idea when I was up in Asheville, um, North Carolina. It's a very, very artsy community. There's a ton of pottery, and I just had a blast. But I want to show you what I did with it. Um, some of this I found in, some of it I purchased from the artist, the individual artist. Some of it I found in a thrift shop, um, but a lot, most of it's purchased. But I wanted to show you what I have. Now, this is a uh, beautiful, beautiful vase that... I purchased, um, the artist's name is Lewis. I can't tell you about all these artists because I just, there were so many. But anyways, I decided to use this to store my colored pencils in. It's a cute little vessel and I have them sit, they sit on a shelf right here in front of me. Not all of these, but most of them do. This one I found in a thrift store. I paid $12.50 for it. And this one is... It's an ugly piece. I don't know how to explain it. I love it because it's got character to it. And it's just, it sits like this. It's got a flat bottom on it. But it's got this really unusual shape to it. It's almost like it just went in the kiln. So this one I really love. Again, I found this um, in a thrift store while we were up there. And this one, it was an antique store actually. And again, I hold more pens in this one. Oops. Okay, let me move some of these away a little bit. This here, this I actually got quite a while ago. That's a book I need to read. Um, this I got quite a while ago. This I was up in North Carolina and I was at the um, Frida display. Uh, not display, what do you call it? Um, oh, I can't think of the name of it. It was all of her art. And this, of course, was in the gift shop there. It's just a little tin cup. But I really thought it was cool, and I thought, what a great thing to store stuff in. Of course, more pencils. Um, these are mostly my Stabilos and that kind of stuff. So there's that one. This one, um, again, this is a piece of pottery. I found this one in... Um, an antique store and I just really loved it I thought it was really pretty there is no artist signature on it I don't know what this is this is just it looks like a I don't know that may be you can't really see it but that may be a signature I don't know I can't tell who it is so I like this one this one's got um, a lot of my colored pencils in it as well this um, I found in a gift shop this little guy and I just thought he was so cute he's such a small short little guy and he's holding just a bunch of little things little things that I could use in my journals but I really love him I thought he was pretty all right this one here this is an actual artist um, I love this I'm actually holding q-tips in it for art I'm gonna put this down and this one she has a maker's mark on it but um, I, I can't remember her name honestly but I absolutely love the artwork that she did on this so this one I did purchase I think this one I purchased up at a it's a folk art center up at the Blue Ridge Mountains outside of Asheville so there's that one she holds my my q-tips this one here, uh, this I absolutely fell in love with, and I'm going to try to find something. I'm going to use my mouse pad. This, I don't know if that's going to work. Hold on. I'm going to go like this. This is absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful bowl um, that's, yeah, of course, handmade. Uh, this one... I can't read the bottom. Hang on. You got to see this bowl. This bowl is just absolutely beautiful. I fell in love with this the minute I saw it. And I said, uh-uh. I got to have it. Here's the maker's mark. 
if you can read it, good luck. I don't know. Um, this one I actually purchased in a pottery studio. There's a studio up there that you can go in and walk around and see all the different artists and they have some of their stuff for sale in there. And this one, it just, I just absolutely fell in love. Now, could I be using it for other stuff? Yeah, probably. Um, will I? No, probably not. It's going to use my, it's going to be another little junk catcher. Whoops. Just lost something on the floor. Bead. Let me grab that real quick so my puppy doesn't choke. Yeah, so this is um, another one that I purchased. I had a blast up there. Um, my husband and I went up last year? This year? I can't remember. My husband and I went up and we had a really good time. So there's the butterfly bowl. I've shown you that. I've shown you this. Okay, here's another little bowl that... Um, I've got so much junk, I'm telling you. Let's sneak one there. One of those. This little bowl I fell in love with. This is from Kemper. This is actually from a friend of mine up in where I came from, which is Oneana, New York. And this is Jennifer's. I just, I absolutely love her stuff. I always, whenever I go up um, to see, you know, my dad or whatever, I always stop in and pick up a piece of Jennifer's art. It's just gorgeous. So that is hers. That's all kinds of junk again. I need to get rid of some of this junk. This one, this one I actually found in a thrift store. That's all my, that's all my charcoal and stuff in there, so it's not, you know. But this one I found in a thrift store. Um, this was made by Alice. Alice, I don't know who, but I really love it. And what I, whoops, what I love about it, I'm going to break this. What I love about it is it's just, it's connected. So I have the ability to put, you know, a bunch of stuff in one. This is all, I don't know, and a bunch of stuff in the other. This is my Bose radio thing. So, yeah, I really enjoy that one as well. Now I have one more left. Um, that I'm going to show you right now. And that's this, well actually two. That's these two. This one, this is a, uh, another one that's my friend's Jennifer Kemper. She's just a little tiny bowl. I just, I fell in love with it. It's really cute. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. Someday I'll find something that needs to be stored in this. So, that's really cute. I love it. And then this one, which I absolutely just fell in love with. this um, it is absolutely gorgeous it's the the painting the texture is just phenomenal again this was in the artist um, studio where we went in and we could see all the artists working and again they had pieces for sale and I saw this and I said that's going home with me so it's absolutely beautiful I have one more that I want to show you uh, give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I lied. I have two more to show you. Um, and the last one is my absolute favorite. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is from... Huh. I can't tell. Uh, we actually went into this lady's studio, and she does all of her bowls by hand. She doesn't use a um, pottery wheel. She makes all of her, she makes coils, and then she smooths them all out, and then she puts, you know, her dips and stuff in them. And the painting, the, the glazing, just really called to me. And how she does it is she puts the glaze on, she'll swap some in, and then she'll, I don't know if you can see those circles. See those circles in there? She actually just goes through and doodles, basically scribbles whatever you want to call it but this is actually the first one I purchased when we were up in uh, Asheville and I just I fell in love with it so this actually I use over on my fabric table and this usually holds little scraps from when I'm when I'm weaving stuff so that's this one the last one this one I use to hold trim and stuff for weaving <clears throat> this is my absolute favorite uh, this is again done just in pieces. 
um, you know, round strips of clay that I'm not sure how he gets all this crackle and stuff on it. This guy's name, I believe, is Steve. I'd have to look on my Instagram. Um, I saw this. There were so many of these there, and it took me so long to decide which one I wanted to bring home. And it's just absolutely fabulous. Let me show you the inside again. Isn't that wonderful? This one, again, holds trims um, for when I weave. That's what's in here. Again, my whole um, thought behind purchasing these, I call them vessels, is to use them in my art room. And they just make me happy. Every time I pick one up to get something out of it, you know, it brings back a memory and it just looks really cool. And I absolutely love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed just a little look at peek into my studio or I can't say my studio, my art room and you know what I have in here to hold things. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll chat with you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.